Today we're talking about two uh, data types, or really qualifiers for data types, ref and out. And ref and out qualify parameters uh, for functions between the parents, or arguments for calling functions. And ref and outs allow you to pass the address of data rather than the value of data. And this is important if you want to change the data within the function being called. Because by default, just the value gets passed. And you can use that value within the function. And you can even return something that is affected by that value using the return type of the function. But you can't directly change it because you're getting a value, not an address of the variable or an address of the data type. And to demonstrate this, we can write a simple test program. It just has one button called test. And if you look at the event handler for this button, we create a local variable called button local in integer and set it equal to 14. And then I have three strategically placed message boxes. One that shows the value of button local before a call to a function called add 10 which passes button local as a, an argument to the button local parameter. And then within add 10, I take the parameter and I add 10 to it. This uh, shorthand parm plus equals 10 is the equivalent of saying parm equals parm plus 10. They're essentially the ways of saying the same thing. And then I have a message box that shows what this local parameter parm is, a parameter that's local to add 10. In effect, having an, uh, a parameter is like having a, that here, and that it's the scope of this function. It creates a variable that's the scope of this function, and it assigns the value that it gets passed to that local variable. Then finally, I have a message box that prints out what the value of button local is after the return from the call to add 10. So if we compile and run this program, if I press the test button, you see a message box comes up that says, before the call, the value of button local is 14, which is the value we assigned it. Then within the add 10 function, the value of parm after we added 10 to it is 24. But then after we return from that function, if we print out the value of button local, it's still 14. What we did within the function had absolutely no effect. But if we change this code and we add the qualifier ref to, uh, to the parameter and also add the qualifier ref to the argument that calls it. It needs to be both places. We then create a situation where we have call by reference rather than call by value. So what's actually being passed is the address of this local variable. And once the function has the address, it can change the value. So if we compile and run this version, I click test, and before the call, the button local is 14. It gets changed to 24 within the uh, function. And then when we get out of the function, it's still 24. Because in effect, the local variable that got created was the same address as the variable that was within the calling function. And there's another qualifier that is very similar to uh, ref. It's called out. But the difference is between ref and out is in order to use ref, you have to have a variable that's initially assigned a value. And to use out, you can actually just have a variable that's created but hasn't been assigned a value. So we could have something like this. But in order to do that, we're going to have to take a couple things out or we're going to get errors, like this message box. And we'll need to initially set this to something. Just because 
you can't add 10 to a null variable. It needs to have an initial value. But you can pass a null variable to an out. That's the main distinction between it and the ref. With the ref, you have to have pre-assigned a value to the, the variable that you're passing by reference. With the out, you don't have to pre-assign. So if we compile and run this, see within the function we've created a variable with the value of 24 and when we get out of the function the local variable that was in effect made the same variable you know it had the same address uh, is also 24. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned a lot and don't forget to subscribe.